Yo, yo, it's moving day. Check it out. Got all of my things lined up, ready to go. I got a car coming to pick them up. There's some more things in the back. Leaving the fan here. The bed is stripped. And the kitchen is clean. I'm leaving that. And I fly out tomorrow. This is it. This is it. Here's my last note still hanging. Saying goodbye to this view once and for all. Although who knows, maybe I'll be back. I don't know. Maybe the jungle will call once again for a dieta and I will be back. You just never know. Life is so mysterious sometimes. Still have my little calendar hanging there, but the rest of my sticky notes are gone. And this one's the last, last to go. Take a deep breath, Lana, and relax. Everything's gonna be okay. And now we wait. Just gonna sit out here and enjoy the last day with this view. I really enjoyed living here. It served me really well. I went through some really deep healing here. Um, really figured out what was wrong with my body. It was a candida overgrowth that was causing me all sorts of digestive havoc. And I healed that, I did and I am successfully still doing my carnivore diet, which is great. Although, now that I'm traveling and I'm gonna be getting settled into a place that I haven't lived before, into a city that I have not lived before, so I don't know where the bouts, whereabouts I will find meat and where I will be cooking at the time. So, I wanted to experiment and do um, like a week of fruitarianism back at it again with those isms. So I'm thinking I'm going to try um, just eating fruit for about a week right after this carnivore, three weeks, after the three weeks of carnivore that I was doing since coming back from the States and see what my body's gonna tell me. Who knows, I'm just curious. Um, the reason why I'm thinking of doing this is because fruit is so easy to eat. You don't really need a cutting board or knives or anything like that. And since I'm having all of my things shipped from here to Cusco, I won't have my knives to cut and to cook. So I'm thinking fruit is the most convenient to eat while I am traveling and while I am getting settled in. So why not experiment and see how my body reacts to fruit? Um, going 180 degrees from carnivore to fruitarian again. I did a fruitarian diet for about eight weeks, a little over a year ago. And um, it was interesting, but I had other issues like the candida overgrowth that I was still battling at the time that I had no idea. So this time, since I do not have any candida, I am curious to see how my body's gonna adjust to it and um, how I'm gonna be feeling. It's all very interesting um, and I love experimenting because why not? So I will keep you posted on that if I do decide to do that or not. Um, probably will, I'll probably have to in order to not lose my mind while traveling and getting settled in because it's a lot, there's a lot to do, there's a lot going on and moving across country of Peru, there's, um, yeah, I just want to cause as little stress on my body as possible. So who knows? Maybe this will actually be even more stress since my body is going to be such a shock to go from carnivore to fruit. Um, but either way, I won't decide this until tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. Live in the present moment, not make any plans. And let's see what tomorrow brings. Because tomorrow I may wake up and I'll be like, no, I'm going to eat meat. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know. You never know. Life is so mysterious i know i said that already but it is it's so true so anyways um these are my last moments in my casita here i really enjoyed living here uh for the last eight months lots of deep processes occurred and um lots of healing happened here for sure i was in isolation most of the time you know just doing hiking um, swimming in the river and getting massages done, lots and lots of massages to keep the energy moving. And I had 58 chiropractor appointments as well. 
that have really helped me with my spine alignment. Um, and I visited plenty of doctors here as well, especially in the beginning of my time here. Um, and in the end, I realized I am my own best doctor. Yeah, this is what this place has really helped me to cultivate is a real, true faith in my intuition in when God is speaking, listening to when God is speaking through through me, right? To myself. Um, so it's listening to my intuition, same thing. So anyways, yeah, this is it. I'm waiting for my guy to show up with his truck so we can get everything packed and um, taken to Shalom, which is a transportation company here in Peru. And Shalom is going to ship my things from Tarapoto to Cusco. And then in Cusco, about seven to 10 days later, I have a guy that's going to go pick him up, pick up my things and store them for me while I am in the valley looking for a place to live. Everything's great. I guess we'll see you on the other side of this move. Okay, all the things I moved, I got myself a motor car, and there's all my things. All packaged away. In here. Very nice. And I'm taking that. got here and look at this line. These are all people waiting to ship things. And now for a hundred soles, they're going to package my things like this. All of this. This isn't bad, it's like $25 worth of work. They're all done. I got 10 packages ready to go, ready to ship. Over there. Now it's a cocoa break. This guy's gonna give me a ride to my last tattoo removal appointment. But first, we drink cocoa. to removal let's get it it's quite fancy in here but the power just went off so I sat in my um, laser tattoo removal doctor's office for about an hour and they told me that these are coming off so slow. So I had seven sessions. I don't know if you can see. They are barely faded. And they're shocked that this is happening. Um, seven sessions. After one session, you should see a significant difference. This is just not coming out. Um, I've definitely learned my lesson. Ooh, look at this. Such a cute little property. Walking down the street to to my chiropractor appointment. 
Last chiropractor appointment here in Tarapoto. I fly out tomorrow, like I said. So they, my laser tattoo removal doctor, refunded me for three sessions um, because it's not fading and they're gonna recommend me someone in Cusco that I can go to. Um, this is a steep ass hill. So I got that going for me. At least I only paid for four sessions. Um, not bad. Dude, you see this sunset? Freaking gorgeous. My last night, taking a walk um, to clear my head. Actually, got my laptop. Gonna go work on some videos and content over at my friend's, my friend Marinka's house. And I just walked out and I saw this sunset and I was like, whoa, gotta show you. Anyways, um, all in all, today was an awesome day. Got a lot done, woke up with some anxiety about the move because moving is always kind of stressful. It's getting things moving around and whatnot. Um, making arrangements of who's gonna pick up what. Wow, you guys gotta see this, this is insane. Unreal. gonna go get her little flip phone and I'm gonna pay my bill for the month. Wow, look at how fast it's changing. Oh man, it's freaking gorgeous. Why are they going on? I never see this crazy. The video doesn't do it justice. I have too many things in my hand right now to be filming, but I can't stop. Look. Wow. Yeah, the camera definitely does not do this justice, but like, what the fuck? So pretty. So, I'm heading to the little corner store and what was I saying? All in all, it's been a great day. Hello. <laughs> all in all, it's been a great day. I got a lot done, though I woke up anxious. I did my EFT um, tapping method, where you tap and you say um, your sentence. My sentence was, though I am experiencing anxiety, I trust God. And I kept that on repeat while I was tapping in the different areas of my body. And I decreased my anxiety levels by about eight points. So, it's been a great day. And just like that, the sun sets. This is my little corner store. I'm about to buy some carbonated water and go focus on my computer for a moment.